guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Bomb Beautiful, and today I'm going to be doing the rat or Die tag. And why am I doing this? I have two reasons. First, I love Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> Second, I am a die hard Fast and the Furious fan, Vin Diesel. He's my boy. I love you, Vin Diesel. So for this tag, you get to pick one favorite ultimate product you can't live without from each makeup category. If you were in Desert Island, which one of each products or for each category would you take? So I really had to think about this and really think, if I could only have one for the rest of my life, what would it be? So, so let's just get straight into it because I know it's gonna be a long, spastic, crazy, fun, bursting video. Let's go. So first off, let's talk about primers. Now, primers do several different things and they can do several different things for you. My main number one problem that I need a primer to fix is this thing right here. They're called pores. It's terrible. So I definitely, for sure, I didn't even have to think about it. The Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer is my man right here because it will just leave you looking flawless. It literally looks like you use a blurring app. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't do that. You know you use it. You don't need to anymore with this primer. This is magic in a little bottle. I absolutely love this. So for foundation, like I said, I got my blurs, my blurish going on. So now I just need a foundation that will last me all day, give me good coverage, and I'm good to go. This is a foundation, and I know it's a drugstore foundation. That says a lot. This is amazing, and I have dry skin, and this still works for me. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation, and yes, look at my tube. <laughs> it's disgusting. I have gone through this, and I need to repurchase it, but luckily, I kept the packaging. This is my favorite foundation. It will last through the Arizona heat, man. It's hot here and it will last and your foundation will not only last till the end of the night, but it will still have the same amount of coverage. It will still look the same flawlessness as it did when you first put it on. That's why I like this foundation. It's amazing for sure. Next, let's talk about concealers. Now, I have used several concealers for underneath the eyes and I have some big, baggy mama purple under eye circles it is not pretty and what do I so what do I like to use for underneath my eyes <sighs> this little baby right here this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer and I have mine in tan I still haven't gone through this itty bitty travel size so I'm not gonna go buy another full one until I'm done with this little baby but this is amazing the coverage that it gives me I don't need to mix it with other concealers. This does the trick and it's good. I love this. So to set the under eyes is this baby. And you guys probably know if you've been seeing my tutorials. This is a Smooth Criminal Powder from Be A Bombshell. This is something that I got in an Ipsy. That's how I discovered it. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. It just smooths it out. Now I had a lot of problems with like fine lines underneath my eyes. It would look cakey under there, it would look dry. I would look like an old lady. This took care of it. It just makes it so smooth and nice under there. Look young, look young. So for my face powder, yes, a lot of this is drugstore, guys. Face it, I found some drugstore goodies here. So this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I don't set my face that often, but whenever I do, I use this because it's so light and finely milled that I find that with my dry skin, it doesn't make me look kicky. It's not too harsh, I guess, and it doesn't mess up the makeup underneath. It still makes me look flawless and just helps give me a little bit of a madness on my face. So next is bronzer, and for bronzer, I use bronzers for two different things. I use a bronzer to contour and a bronzer to bronze up my cheek area like I did today. So I'm gonna show you two bronzers because there's one that does a different thing. So my contouring bronzer, again, this is not a surprise. It's not. I've used several bronzers and this is just my favorite. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. And the reason that I like this so much, now 
It was kind of between this one and my Princess Avenue one. They're neck and neck. They were neck and neck. So this reason I like this one is because of the color. So the tone of it, it's a perfect neutral and the shade of it. It's the perfect shade that's not too dark, not too light. It just gives me a beautiful natural looking contour that I absolutely love. And it feels so soft, you guys. It feels so soft to the touch. Like an angel. Like touching an angel's face. So to bronze, again, this is from the drugstore. I know, I know. But this is just amazing. It's the So Baked Bronzer by Hard Candy in Tropics. I love this so much that first off, it's not domed anymore. And second off, the top is broken off of it. But I love this. And you know what? I put it in the back of my drawer and I always tend to pull it out. There's always, I mean, it just calls my name. And I just, honestly, with this, I would just be fine. And this is what I have here to kind of give me that sun kiss type of glow. This is usually what I have on. This is just amazing, super pigmented. And for a baked bronzer, it's not shimmery, but it gives you a beautiful tan glow. So let's talk about highlights. I am so torn between highlights, but honestly, this is probably my oldest, oldest favorite and something that I absolutely love. And I don't mention it often on my channel because I just had it for so long, but I do, this is perfect for kind of like an everyday. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works Beautiful by Nature Shimmer Powder Compact. And I don't even know if it's still around or not, but man, do I love this. This is amazing. And it's what I have on right on top right here. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It is, it's soft. It doesn't feel creamy. It feels soft, but it gives you the most natural looking glow ever. Can you kind of see that? How it's just like a natural, subtle glow. And there's just something just absolutely gorgeous about this. That honestly, I mean, when I'm not filming, I'm not taking pictures. It's just like an everyday beauty glow from within. This is the definitely the shimmer powder or the highlight that I would pick. And I know it's nothing super like fancy, but man, I love this. Next for blush. This was hands down. I didn't even have to think about it, which is pretty sad because when you guys see this, you're going to be like, what? Seriously? Really? That's a waste. But this is the Tint and Sass um, Lip and Cheek Stain from Elizabeth Mott. This is hands down. Gives me anxiety to think that I'm running out of it. Blush. I love this so much. It is a beautiful red color and there's something about the gel formula. It's not too liquidy. It's but it's not too of much of a gel. And man, it just is a beautiful, looks like you just woke up with rosy, rosy cheeks. And the fact that you can double it for a lip and a cheek is amazing. So I absolutely love this and I'm still looking for a dupe for this. I literally will just blend it in with my fingers like this. Ba bing, bada boom, bada bing. It looks gorgeous. So let's talk about lashes. Honestly, I've been trying high end and uh, drugstore lashes, but I for a day to day and something that I look for is something that's super super comfortable and it's not going to agitate my eye. Something where the band is really thin but it's also really flexible to where I can shape it and it will stay put and I won't even feel it on my eyes. And the lashes that I've been loving for that and the lashes that honestly are my for sure I have to have them in my drawer. These are rather new to me and these are the LA Color Dramati Lash in Foxy. And this is what they look like and I'm actually wearing, it's what I'm wearing today and I feel like they look so natural but yet they give you a little bit of a like a flare but still they're not too much. Like they don't, they're not exaggerated. I can wear them to day to day basis on a day-to-day -day basis but it still gives me like wow she has big eyes type of effect so okay so for mascara is this right here this is the covergirl um full lash bloom mascara this wand and this formula is just amazing covergirl knows what they're talking about when it comes to mascaras because this is just amazing and i've tried all different kinds of mascaras fiber mascaras oh i love the better than sex mascara but this mascara is just such a good mascara. I always have to have it, and that's definitely saying something. It gives me volume, it gives me some length, and I just really, really like this one. It makes my natural lashes look gorgeous. Which, in reality, we probably won't need this if we're going to take lashes. 
onto that Desert Island. All right, so we're talking about an eye palette. Okay, now I have a lot of eye palettes and I could have easily grab one of my huge eye palettes that has every color imaginable on it, but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna do that. This palette was probably one of my first palettes that I've ever gotten and it just, I just have to have it. It has the perfect amount of mattes, the perfect shades of mattes, it has bronzes, it has cool, a cool silver, a black. It just will do anything that I would possibly want, any look that I would want for every day and it's just great. It's nothing, it's not super cool. You guys are gonna be like, really? This is the Naked Palette, the original. I love this with a passion, guys. You can do a natural, no makeup makeup look with this. You can do an everyday makeup look with this. You can do a night look with this. You can do a going out makeup look with this. You can do a wedding look with this. You can do a photo shoot look with this. The Naked Palette is amazing, and this is by far my favorite Naked Palette they've come out with. And this is what it looks like in the inside if you haven't seen it, which you probably have. It's from Urban Decay, you guys know. But I love that it has a gunmetal silver, it has a black, it has some taupes, it has some bronzes, it has a gold, it has a pink, it has a shimmer, and it has these two mattes, which obviously I've been using the heck out of this one. But this is just so great, and I will always, I mean, Honestly, whenever I'm not on camera, I'm usually using this baby right here. It's just amazing. The formula is really good. They're soft and it's just, I can't, this palette is just like, it's my baby. This is my little baby palette. I love this thing so much. Let's move on from the eyes to the lips, shall we? Okay, so my lipstick. Again, this is nothing new and I'm sorry mine's ugly. That's how much I love it. This is the Bear It All lipstick from Wet n Wild. <sighs> Why do I love this? Why? Because it's wonderful. It is the perfect nude for me. I love it. I struggle with finding nudes and this one's amazing and the formula is really, really soft, but it gives me a matte feel or a matte look without being too matte or too dry. There's just something amazing about this lipstick and I just love it, honestly. And there's so many other lipsticks I could have picked, but for me, this is my perfect nude and I didn't even have to think about it. I just grabbed it because I knew this is just one of those lipsticks that I always have to have. Now, for the liquid lipstick, this is a whole other ball game. This is fun time. This is the Beach Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Daisy. It's what I have on today and I kind of was going through looking at my liquid lipsticks and I just kept looking at Muse and Daisy. Muse and Daisy. Muse and Daisy. And honestly, I already have a nude. Why not do a fun pop of color because I gotta have some color. If I'm on Desert Island, we gotta bring some color into our life. Bring some fun. Bring some love. This is what I would pick. And I love the formula. I love the color. And I'm so glad that I branched out and tried it because it's gorgeous. And I love it, especially on my tanner skin. It looks really gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, you can see it on my lips. I'm amazed with how beautiful this looks. Now, for a gloss, I was really, really torn because I don't use gloss that often. Um, there's really only one gloss that I like to really use and I go back to using anytime I want some kind of gloss. So I kind of was torn between instead of doing a gloss, doing the NYX Lip Cream in Stockholm because I absolutely love that. And I will definitely top that over any lipstick and it will just look gorgeous. But I decided to not make a scene and go with what the tag says. So this is my gloss. This is a Holiday Hugs gloss from Philosophy. And it's just a really pretty light pink gloss. It doesn't have a color to it. It's like a very, 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 faded pink muted pink color but it's mostly just gloss and I like that it's not sticky it's super super comfortable and it smells oh, it smells like holiday hugs that's what it smells like it smells amazing and so I'm not a gloss girl but whenever I do put on a gloss this is what I put on top of any lipstick or top on top of my lippies. Now, last for the makeup is my makeup setting spray. Now, I absolutely love the Urban Decay All Nighter, but honestly, I feel like this one is so similar to the Urban Decay All Nighter that I've been using and loving this one, um, probably more than that one. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible um, 
setting spray and I love this the mist is really nice it's nice and fine but this will literally just make extend your makeup wear time by a hundred and it is amazing and not to mention it's from the drugstore so most of these products have been from the drugstore this is the drugstore edition guys I keep it real here I know that there wasn't a brush or an eyebrow product but we're not even gonna talk about that a brush in the tag but I'm going to tell you about a brush because I do what I want here. This is my world. So this is my ride or die brush. I just thought I would mention it. This is the Elf Complexion brush. I love this because you can use it for powder, you can use it for bronzer, you can use it for contour, you can use it for highlight, you can use it for blush, and it's just amazing and I can't live without this. And I recently went over to my parents and I saw that my mom had this and I got so excited. <gasps> Guess what she told me? Guess. I don't use that, Sharon. You can have it if you want. My face was like, okay, so we are almost done. Last is fragrance. And I went so back and forth about fragrance because there's just so many fragrances that I love. And I'm not going to lie that Marc Jacobs Daisy is absolutely gorgeous and was right up there. But... If I'm going to be completely honest, I'm like a super sentimental person, super sentimental. And um, this is the first perfume I ever got. I got it for my 16th birthday from my older brother. And it's just, first off, it smells amazing. Second off, it's just sentimental to me. I have to have it. And I would pick this over anything else, over any other perfume. And this isn't super expensive, guys. This is the J. J.Lo Live Luxe uh, perfume and uh, you can find this I think at Target like it's not expensive at all but oh my gosh does this smell so good and I love this baby I take care of this baby I've had it since I was 16 you guys and I still there's a tiny bit left on the bottom because I don't want to use it because it's sentimental my first perfume bottle ever am I weird do you guys do that too oh let me spray this Don't die on me now, baby. Oh, just, just smelling it brings me back to like my 16 year old self, you know, fun, good old young days when I was careless. And I was actually, when I got this, I was actually dating my husband. Is that weird? So that's it for my rad or die products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and kind of got a little bit something out of my rambling, spastic, excited video. But if you're new, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know. And I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Make sure that if you feel like doing this tag, you do it. And comment down below and tell me that you did it so I can go watch it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.